Okay, Gemini, let's see who's coming in for love, romance, and relationships. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Venus also. Who's coming towards Gemini, oracle of love, singles. Gemini. Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through with the Four of Cups here. This is a card of self-realization, illumination, or meeting your twin. I almost feel like uh, you see this mermaid here. She's looking at a reflection of herself. So I feel like you're meeting your equal here, Gemini. I also feel like this could be a twin flame because of this. It's someone that's mirroring you in a lot of ways, maybe in common interests, in personality, maybe astrologically. I feel like this person is the person you've been um, wanting or desiring. Like I feel like you've been, you've had a vision of someone. You've had a vision or you've got an ideal kind of person in mind. And I feel like the universe is bringing you exactly what you're wanting here. So this is some serious manifestation. I also feel like this person is going to be very pivotal for you in your life. There's lessons to be learnt here, lessons about yourself. I feel like this person is mirroring the same behavior as you. So they too are trying to attract someone like you. Um, so this is quite powerful. I think you're coming together because there's a higher, a higher power at play here. What looks like the fairies, you know, and they've got what looks like lilies or flowers. Um, well, they're cups really, but there's a higher power that's bringing this person to you. It's still up in the air though. I feel like this person is quite imaginative or creative as well themselves. Um, I, I feel you see a lot of yourself in them as well. There's familiarity with this person. So some of you could already know this person, but I honestly feel, you know, they're something to do with reflections this person is a reflection of what you're wanting this person is a reflection of what you've been imagining this person is a reflection of you um i also feel like there could be duality to them as well but this is all about life learning and illumination i almost feel like in one way or another they help people see themselves for who they really are so it could be quite a confronting energy here as well gemini you may feel like this person really shows you who you are or mirrors your behavior and you see another side to them maybe or something like this with the four of cups okay the five of swords gemini libra aquarius energy here with the five of swords the five of swords is a little bit tough to decipher i feel as though maybe this person has a certain edge about them maybe they've encountered some sort of negative um negative times in their life maybe they've got their swords up and i'm wondering why they're in a defensive period so i feel like maybe they're a little bit unsure about love maybe they're coming from quite a toxic relationship here gemini with the five of swords it can be a card of leaving something behind leaving negativity behind and transition so for some of you um this person is picking up the pieces in their life i feel like life has thrown them you know, in different areas and different directions that they hadn't really planned and suddenly they're picking up the pieces again um, is what I'm seeing here and, and becoming more enlightened with the Five of Swords also. It is air energy. It can show someone that has an inner battle of some kind, um, an internal battle. They could be prone to anxiety, um, depression, um, they're very good with words, though. I think much like you, I think they mirror you in a lot of ways. So I wouldn't be surprised if they are heavily dominated by air. And this is what the two of you thrive on. Um, but the five of swords could be that someone has walked away from them or they've walked away from someone and it's still raw. Um, it's still raw. It's possibly not something they want to open up straight away about. So you might need to give them time. But I do see they still have their swords up. But I think they'll gently um, learn to put them down when you come into their life. It could also be the people they work with or the people that is around them, like their friends or their family. I feel like if this is the case professionally, they may help people come out of this um, five of swords, you know, leaving behind negativity. And maybe somehow on some level, this is what this person does for other people. Okay, the full card. It's an Aries here with a full card. This is someone that wants to release, wants to be released um, and wants to release their inhibitions. I almost feel like They've just found freedom or independence. So I think this person was involved in a relationship. I think with the full card, they were naive or gullible about their previous partner or their previous spouse or whoever they were involved with. Um, I think they do have a sensitive side, absolutely. But I also think at times, um, maybe they've let people take them for granted here, Gemini. I feel like they've done, they've gone above and beyond for someone in their life 
and in fact it sort of um you know, it, it sort of came back and bit them in the bum, so to speak, because they didn't receive, you know, it's almost like they got the short end of the stick here. So I feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in love, um, whether it's because they've had very fleeting partners and they haven't had much depth or substance because they're really waiting for someone to, you know, sweep them off their feet. That is, that is their equal. And I absolutely am confident that that person is you. Um, look for some of the for some of you gems this person is well traveled this person is a bit of a nomad could be a bit of a free spirit here with the full card um, quite an easygoing disposition I feel quite friendly quite warm and engaging um, but as I said sometimes can be seen as a little bit gullible um, or there could be new beginnings very new um, beginnings that are making them a little bit anxious um, or making them a little bit scared i think like they're jumping into something here so it could be career path life goals um anything ten of cups that's really beautiful cancer pisces scorpio energy here with the ten of cups this is the card of happily ever after this is a card of reconciliation this is a card of the two of you doing the dance of love being quite deep in love is what i'm seeing so i definitely feel like this person has maybe had very one very important or deep connection in their past. Um, but I also feel like they're craving love. They're a fool when they're in love is what I'm seeing. So almost like a hopeless romantic. But the deep the, the Ten of Cups, it really is a deep connection here. It's a deep emotional, spiritual um, connection that the two of you share. It's a deep love and affection that you'll have for one another. Um, I really feel like this is this person has got a lot of love to give. They have a very big heart here, Gemini, and they're capable of being your happily ever after. You just you're just going to have to be patient with them, is what I'm seeing. But the beauty is is that this can happen for the two of you. This can eventuate in a very beautiful way. And the two of you can be very, very happy together. This is long lasting, you know, someone that wants love for the long term. This isn't someone that wants short relationships. They're looking for something long term. They're looking for longevity and stability here. Um, they're very affectionate. I think they're quite sexual as well. So they're very hands on. I feel like they're very affectionate. They want to hold hands. They want to caress, you know. They're very passionate, especially when it comes to lovemaking, etc. So, mm, that's good to see. The Sun card, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here. I definitely feel they're encountering some sort of spiritual enlightenment with the Sun card. I feel like they're coming out of some sort of period where they were, you know, a little bit down or a little bit despaired, or maybe they've had a really bad run with an ex or something. Because I feel with the Sun card here, they're coming into light. They're, they're, they're chasing the sun, you know, they're facing the sun. So they're ready. They're ready to embrace something new. The, the sun gives life. It gives meaning to life. <clears throat> and I feel like this person is is finding themselves again, their self again. Not that they were lost or despaired, he Gemini. Well, some may have could be. But I feel as though with the sun card, this person is coming back bigger, better, and stronger than ever. So there's a lot of innovation, change, and metamorphosis that's occurring around this person. There's a brightness. They've got a very warm energy. I think, you know, it's almost to a point where they're glowing. It's just a beautiful aura and it's going to entice you. And there's just a certain light about them and you'll love it. You know, the light in their eyes, the glimmer in their eyes, their smile, it just glows. It it really makes you weak at the knees, he Gemini. So I love what this person um does to you it's an amazing feeling to have the sun look it is a card of illumination so this person could be stepping out into the limelight they might be famous they could be in the public eye they're in a place where people see them um, or they're in a place of that they're in a, um, a role or they're in a position to create in some way shape or form here so for some of you this person is in a leadership or a management role i feel like they have a lot of control um or they're in a job where they, it's almost like they take a chance on people to grant them something. It's almost like they go by people's word um, or they have to have faith in a person to trust them or something like this. It could be revolving around personality, around job description. Um, they could also come from an environment where it's quite sunny and warm. Okay, Emperor is the Aries that's come through here. I definitely feel this is your Emperor, Gemini ladies that are watching. This is beautiful. This person... I'm not sure if there if there's much of an age difference, but I feel this person is very mature and very wise. I almost feel like they'll act if, um, if this is for the Gemini ladies watching. I feel like they'll act like a bit of a father figure sometimes. 
and you all feel like the coy, playful, youthful one. And sometimes this other person, this male, or even if you're a male watching this, I feel like this female can oftentimes come across as the more intimidating, maybe a little bit more serious. Um, you can see there's a lot of determination and focus with the emperor here. So I feel like this person is very focused. I also feel like they could be quite possessive or protective. Um, if he, if this is, regardless of your gender, if this is an someone coming in with emperor energy, fire does feel air, air feels fire. So I feel as though the two of you could bounce off each other in a complicated way, but I could see it working. Um, but you know, this person is very powerful. This person has the world in their hands. They hold a lot of power and everything is sort of interwoven and interconnected here with the emperor. This is someone of great importance or prestige or has a very elite status, class, um, career. Um, maybe they do a lot of work for um, people, for like the humanitarian causes, philanthropy or something like this. I feel like there's a lot of, they're very influential and I definitely feel they're an alpha male or an alpha female that's coming through here. So um, it's almost like they can give you the world. You know, there's a sun card and what looks like this beautiful engraving of a world and there's a crystal ball. For some of you, I feel like this person has dreamt about you. Um, there's been something that has happened, Gemini. This person has thought about you or imagined you already. I feel like with the crystal ball, that ha they've had a glimpse of you in some way, shape or form. So this is quite interesting. This has come up. Um, but I do feel like this person can give you the world, so to speak. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. I do think they are quite heavily dominated by air, actually, as the Page of Swords. Sometimes they don't know what they want. I'm almost seeing with the Page of Swords. I do think there's someone in their past or someone that they've dealt with before or maybe a substance they've dealt with before or a negative situation that sometimes that comes back to them. I'm not sure if it's like through dreams and sometimes they have certain like a bad dream about this happening or, you know, premonitions even, but I almost feel like sometimes they they're prone to anxiety or depression or something along these lines here, Gem. So I feel like this is where you can come in and help. But I do think they're in their mind a lot. So again, I feel like they mirror you in a lot of ways. And oftentimes air signs can be quite prone to anything um, in, in terms of the mental sense because anything that's overwhelming for you mentally can turn into something, you know, like anxiety or high stress levels. Um, so I feel like this person is prone, is prone to this. Um, and sometimes they are a little bit disoriented, especially with words. I think they're quite a good articulator and they are well spoken. But sometimes I feel like there's too much assuming and too much presumptions that take place and too much um, scenarios in their mind. And sometimes they can get carried away a little bit with the Page of Swords. And if this is not them, then they're possibly um, involved in some sort of line of work where they help people through communication. Okay, beautiful. It's definitely a twin flame soulmate here, Gemini, the lover's card. This is a fellow Gemini for some of you. This is a person that can bring you a very deep and beautiful connection. And I'm almost seeing that the universe is bringing the two of you together in a very beautiful way. This is the sun. This is the world. This is you. This is a dove carrying the crown, which can look like a ring. So for some of you, this person is engaged, has previously been married, or this is someone that's wanting marriage with you or wanting engagement. It's almost like there's a commemorative token or talisman to commemorate your union and your love for each other with the lover's card. Beautiful. Lots of physical intimacy. Again, it's twin. The two of you are facing each other, so there's a, a lot of reciprocity. You're both as invested into e you're both invested into each other. You're putting the same amount of effort in, and I can see there's a lot of affection. Like I see you holding very tightly onto each other and not letting go. So again, this person will possibly not be able to keep their hands off you. It's almost like they need to let everyone know, which is possibly their possessive streak. Everyone know that you are theirs, um, and it's not ownership. It's not control or ownership. I think it's more so. You know, they're very proud of what they have with you, Gemini. Um, but the lover's card with the Ten of Cups, for some of you, this is definitely a happily ever after. Um, absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look and see when and where the two of you will meet. If any specific time frames come up. Okay, you've had one card fall out. Ace of Wands. Eight of Swords. Four of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. 
Okay, Ace of Wands. This person is coming into your life when there's a lot of new starts, new beginnings or new ventures, new desires or new goals. It could be something around self-desire, movement, travel, wanderlust or passion. But there's a fated opportunity that will come into your path. And once this opportunity comes, it's almost like you'll start a new job or you'll move abroad or you'll do something quite big. Um you know, there's a lot of movement, so it can be like relocating or receiving this new opportunity around this time frame is when this person is going to show up into your life. You won't see it. It'll be very unexpected with the Eight of Swords. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, it might be at a time when you've turned your back on love, Gemini, um, where you've sort of put your blindfold on and sort of ignored the friends around you that want to become lovers, the people that you friend zoned. Um, you know, you might be int being introduced to people and you're just saying no. You're putting the blindfold on. You can take it off and you can move around, but you choose not to. So I feel like it, this person may come to you at a time where you feel like you're almost given up on love here. So this is quite serious. You know, you're not possibly in the best mind frame here for some of you. But believe it or not, this is actually going to open up your eyes. The blindfold will be lifted and you'll be greeted with this beautiful person that can offer you a wonderful relationship. For some of you, it's a time where you're really clinging to career and money, finances. The Four of Pentacles is here. So for some of you, it's... You know, this is the element of codependency and clinging to something here. So I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, it's a time when you're clinging to your career choices, career desires, um, or, you know, this is earthly attachments, physical attachments, estates, property, assets. This it could be at a period where you feel the most... Um, financially secure i mean you've got money in your hands here so maybe this for some of you this person is coming into your life at a time where you're most financially secure and you've got in your hands all the opportunities you've worked towards all the success you've worked towards you're reaping the rewards of what you're sowing um you know you reap what you sow this is reaping the rewards here with the four of pentacles then comes the big one the wheel of fortune luck coincidence chance destiny fate you know serendipity call it what you will this is a higher power that's bringing the two of you together one cycle will end and another beginning another will begin but i'm honestly alluding to that this person is coming into your path when there's a lot of changes in your life unexpected changes um, or big changes, something you five years ago you didn't think you had planned or you didn't think you could do, and then suddenly this person comes in and changes all of that for you. So the Wheel of Fortune is, um, it's a very sudden meeting, but it's fate. You know, there's something about cycles. For some of you, you've met this person before, Gemini, and they're coming back once again and you're meeting them again, and everything is falling into place. But this is beautiful. This is fate, destiny, the gods, the universe. It's bringing the two of you together in such a beautiful way. Um, but it's definitely something to do with cycles, possibly at a time of promotion or elevation of some kind, or when you're attracting more prosperity into your existence through abundance, um, because the wheel of fortune isn't upward. But things are, when things start to improve, so if your situation right now is such that you're not finding as much improvements in your life, or you're sort of not on a really lucky streak, I feel like that the, the wheels are turning, the tides are turning. And this person, there's just going to be an inundation of beautiful blessings coming your way. And this relationship is one of them. So look, I will leave it at that, Gems. Thank you so much for watching.